The first ladies night of 2015 took place on Friday in game two of the Pelican series against the Wilmington Blue Rocks. Promotions were aplenty as well with robotics night and Lego night. 21-year-old Dauri Torres making the start. Sharp early, he strikes out the bow batter Jack Lopez here in the first on a filthy slider. One of five Ks on the ninth. It wasn't Torres's night though. 1-0 on a solo homer in the second. Here in the third, two on for Bubba Starling, and the first rounder goes way, way, way back and just out. Hit the mid of the left fielder, Mark Sagunas. That makes it 4-0. Now 6-0 in the fifth. Daniel Lockhart gets Myrtle on the board. Lifting a ball deep enough here to score Ben Carhart from third. It's 6-1. Down big in the ninth. The Pelicans keep fighting, though. Two on, one out, and Carlos Pinalver gets a sack fly of his own. Trims the lead to 8-2. to two. Down to their final strike. Myrtle's Jacob Hanneman pokes this one to left. That scores pinch hitter Alberto Maneo from second to make it 8-3. That's all they would get, though. Wilmington takes it 8-3. Former Coastal Carolina star Josh Conway pitched in this one as well, but allowed a pair of runs. Taylor Scott became the first South African player to play for the Pelicans, and Maneo the first Italian player in the team's 17-year history. Saturday night features another promising young pitcher, Paul Blackburn heads to the hill. He'll face righty Alec Mills for Wilmington. Now to Halley to fill us in on the festivities here at the yard on Saturday night. Nathan, it's always time to spit seeds, not tobacco. Tomorrow night, let's strike out cancer together along with the American Cancer Society. We'll feature a sunflower seed giveaway. It's also local appreciation Saturdays, courtesy of Sparks Toyota. Enjoy $3 off your game ticket with a local ID. And Embrace a Veteran. We'll have plenty of veterans in the house from Embrace Hospice. 